She's all upset. She's all upset, and she's desperate, and you'll understand why. She wants to find the father of her one-year-old daughter, Jonna. Now, Christy admits that after having a trouble alcohol, drugs, and sex. In fact, her life became so out of control, Christy fears that up to nine different men could be Jonna's father. Now, we have tested two of them today, a man named Levi and a man named John. This is Christy's story. My life was hell growing up. To hide the pain, I ran the streets. I was out of control. Whiskey at night. I did marijuana, acid, even speed. I had sex with countless men to feel better about myself. My baby, Jonna, is the one paying the price for all of it. It's not... So was I right? Nine? Possible? Yes. You had sex with a guy, then you went to a party? Yeah. And had sex with several guys? And then left the party, had sex with somebody else? Yeah. Tell us about Levi. He's the guy on the right here. We were... We've been best friends for a while, and... Uh, you hooked up? Yeah. One time. Yeah, and it was a one-time thing, and... It was around the time you got pregnant? Yes. Now, what about this guy, John? It was, uh, it was close to each other when it happened. John's girlfriend is here. Yeah. Did you tell either one of these guys during your pregnancy that they might be the father, or was it after, the, uh, after your child was born? It was after my child was born. And what was their reaction? Well, I told John, and he obviously didn't believe me. And how about Levi? He, he asked me to get DNA done. Yeah, all right. Well, there has been one person who's been your backbone through all of this, the person who has done nothing but give you love and care. Who is that? My sister, Tamara. Your sister, Tamara. <laughs> what do you want to happen, Tamara? I want to find out who John's dad is for she can have some money in her life, and I want John to be able to have a stable father. Do you think, do you think that Jonna looks like either of these oh, guys? Yeah, she looks like John. She has his nose, his hairline, John? everything. The guy on the left? Oh, you have nothing to do with this. Sit down, honey. Yeah. Nothing, no. There's nothing else he's done. I don't think so. First of all, it had nothing to do with you, so you might as well go ahead and sit down. Brother, she's Does John or Levi your daughter? Um, Levi does. Let's take a look at what John and Levi had to say. Watch. I would describe my relationship with Christy as null and void. She was a booty call, that's it. I slept with Christy one time when I was feeling really lonely. I only called her when I was drinking and won a piece of ass. I know I'm not the father of that kid. I'm absolutely certain that that child isn't mine. It's a well-known fact that Christy gets around. She'll most definitely be back again. Everybody welcome John to the show. John, nice to see you. Good to see you. I guess that means, uh, John, I guess that means you're not going home with Christy if you're the father. No, sir. Are you going to take care of the child if you're the father? Absolutely. You think that... You think that little girl looks like you? No, I don't. How did you find out she was pregnant? Well, I was away, and then Christy messaged me on Facebook once I got back to town. She told me that I might be the father of, uh, Jonna. And your reaction was... If it's mine, then I'm going to take care of her, and if she's not, I'm going to go on with my life. Yeah, he's a mutual friend. So, we just mentioned Levi. He's also in the center of this. Unfortunately, Levi was unable to be here, but we actually have him on Skype. So, we're going to talk to him. So, how do you feel being caught in the center, Levi? Uh, it's crazy. Like, I don't know what to do. 
Are you ready to hear the results? When it comes to one-year-old...